January 1991, the Gulf War. Saddam Hussein's army had invaded Kuwait five months earlier. A coalition force responds by launching an offensive mission. It begins with an air bombardment. Then ground troops move in. As part of Operation Granby, British Challenger tanks attack Iraqi positions. The offensive destroys over 300 enemy tanks. And alongside the Challengers is another armored fighting vehicle. This isn't a battle tank, but it has the speed and firepower to provide crucial infantry support. And it comes in at number eight in our top 10, the Warrior. Weight loaded, 28 tons. Max speed, 46 miles per hour. Primary armament, 30 millimeter cannon. The Warrior Infantry Fighting Vehicle was a game changer for the British infantry. It has a presence, it has firepower. The warrior supports infantry in the Gulf War, but it also plays a key role in peacekeeping operations around the world. It's a very, very flexible weapon to be used in peacekeeping operations. It only weighs in um, at around about 30 tons, so it's half the size of a main battle tank. It looks like a tank, and there's an important point in, in peacekeeping operations. If something looks like a tank, it is a tank. First deployed in the 1980s, the warrior's main role is moving men around safely. It can carry three crew and seven soldiers. But it's soon weaponized to also give direct fire support. It now had a 30 millimeter gun capable of destroying enemy light armor and a 7.62 millimeter chain gun. So the soldiers can not only fight from inside it, um, they can deliver firepower on the battlefield as well as being that delivery vehicle for the guys in the back. The warrior has firepower, but it also has speed. In the 100 hours of the first Gulf War, the warriors have got a very powerful engine and a pretty good suspension system, and that meant they were able to move across the desert at speed and deliver the infantry to where they needed to be. The infantry fighting vehicle, the Warrior, is in our top 10 at number eight. Next up is a battle